Good morning, everybody, and once again, welcome back to our weekend project. In this project, you're going to learn how to join data from two tables using glue and populate a view on DynamoDB. So, what is the use case? So, the use case is basically uh, you wanna you have a customer and an order table, right? Uh, you want to fetch the data from the customer. Uh, uh, you want to read everything from the customer. You want to fetch the data from the order table incrementally. You want to join them using AWS Glue. After joining them, I want to basically insert that into a DynamoDB table. Why? Because front-end front -end application or microservices can now uh, read data from DynamoDB uh, at a lightning fast pace. Right? So that is what we're going to build. So the use case is we're going to join the data using Glue, incrementally fetch from orders, uh, do a full scan on the customer table, join uh, both of these tables, then populate uh, a view, a materialized view on DynamoDB. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with the project. So the first step in the project is we need two hoodie tables so we can perform a join and then we can populate an incremental view on DynamoDB. So I have the code, so I'm gonna just quickly walk you through the code. Again, uh, this code uses a library called Faker and all it does is basically creates two Spark data frame called customers and orders. And then uh, as you can see, it is gonna create a customer table and then it's gonna create an order table on, on S3. So here you can see it's gonna create those table uh, under the bucket Samil Shahodi demos, under the folder silver and the table name is customer and then the table name is order. So I'm gonna copy paste this code and what I'm gonna do is I will be heading over to AWS Glue, paste the code here in, click on save, uh, go to job details, Scroll down, choose uh, the type as Spark, choose the version as Glue 4.0, scroll to the advanced properties, additional Python modules, make sure you choose Faker and PynamoDB, configuration, uh, provide the Spark configuration, data lake formats as hoodie. Now uh, I'm gonna run the file. So let's see. So the job is in the running state. Now I'm gonna resume or I'm gonna pause the video and resume once the job is complete. Remember, once the job is complete, I should see two tables, uh, two hoodie tables, which is the customer and the order tables. And then later, once these tables are created, we're gonna learn how to join these data and then populate a view on DynamoDB. My job has finally succeeded as you can see. Now going back to S3, if I refresh, I see a silver zone, I see customer and order table. I also can run an ad hoc query at this point. Oops, not the, this one. Can do a preview table over here. And also I can do a preview table on the orders as well. And let's see if this is done. So here you can see I have some uh, dummy fake data about the customers, right? And then I have some dummy fake data about the orders. Now let's see how we can join these two data uh, using AWS Glue and populate a view uh, on DynamoDB. Now let's take a look at the incremental ETL part. So back to my console. So I have wrote a template and this template makes uh, things really, really easy for anyone to get started with the ETL part. So all you gotta do is come here to the loader underscore JSON payload. If you expand that up and here you can see I have two JSON objects. So here I'm saying that the source type as hoodie, I'm specifying the table name as orders uh, Spark table name is orders, path, this is the path to my order table on S3, type. Now what is type? Uh, this depends uh, basically upon your use case, whether you wanna read everything or do you wanna read incremental data. Uh, again, if you are doing materialized view, then it does make sense to incrementally iterate over the orders, join that with the customer. But if this is a one-time job, then you can select the type to full. But for now, I'm simply gonna leave the type to full. Again, please feel free to change these based on your use case. Again, the goal of the video is to teach you some basic concept, how you can join tables, how you can make views. That's the goal of the video. So here I read the data from the orders table. And then here I read the data from the customer hoodie table. Again, uh, I'm doing a full, but again, if you wanna do incremental, simply use the word incremental in the type and that's all you gotta do. So now all you gotta do is come to the main function and let's read how the job works. So this is basically my DynamoDB table called orders. I'm gonna create a table name called orders. 
This has a customer ID, an order ID, customer name, state, city, email, order value, order name, etc. Now, what I'm doing over here in the main function is I'm creating a DynamoDB table. I'm using paper request. If the table already uh, exists, it's going to basically go into the past statement. I'm calling uh, a loader uh, class and I'm providing the uh, I'm providing in the, basically in the JSON payload. The JSON payload tells which table it needs to load. So basically the JSON payload was this one over here. This is the JSON payload, right? Coming back down. So uh, this is going to load all the data into the Spark temp view, right? And then I can execute my business query over here. Now, again, I just want to take a pause here and say this query could be anything. You can basically say, okay, do a count of orders uh, based on the month or a day. And then you can also insert that particular aggregate uh, or KPIs into DynamoDB. So this is where your application or the business logic or the business query will go. So that's over here. So basically what I'm showing you here is a very simple way. I'm joining the customer and the order table. As you can see, I'm doing, doing a simple inner join on customer ID. And I'm going to basically insert that into the DynamoDB. So here is my query. Then I basically, uh, you know, execute the Spark SQL query and I get uh, a Spark data frame into a variable called DF underscore result. After that, I convert the data frame into pandas. And after converting into pandas, I simply iterate over that. I grab all the items. I call the model, the PynamoDB, you know, uh, customer model, right? And then I pass in all the arguments and I use dot save. Of course, you can use a batch, uh, a, a batch or bulk upload as well. But again, I'm just showing you for the demo use cases. So what are we doing? Just recapping. We have a JSON payload on the top of the class, which will tell which hoodie tables you want to load and how do you want to load, whether you want to load it incrementally or whether you want to do a full data, data scan or read everything from the table. Once we do that, then we execute the business logic, which is the Spark SQL query. This is where your KPIs, matrix, everything will go inside that. Once that happens, we get a Spark data frame object. Once we get the Spark data frame, we convert that into pandas. We call the class PynamoDB. I'm using PynamoDB because it's, it makes it easy. You can also use Boto3, but I like PynamoDB. So I'm using PynamoDB and then I'm essentially inserting into DynamoDB table. So now let's see everything in action, right? So I'm gonna copy paste all the code. Uh, I'll head over to Glue, simply come here, dump all this code over here click save. I'm not going to run it yet. I just want to show you that I do not have any table called orders. And when I run the job, it's going to probably create a table called orders for me. Okay. So now I will run the job. My job is now in the running state. So hopefully you guys can see it's in the running state. Again, uh, this will fetch the data from both the tables, perform the join. And then uh, once the join is done, it's going to basically insert that into the DynamoDB. So now any of your application microservices can read the data uh, on, from the DynamoDB uh, tables, right? So hopefully that made sense, right? Now, if you want to make a materialized view, then simply change the type to INC uh, in the order table and automatically it will fetch the incremental data with checkpoints. So let's wait for the job to complete. I'm going to pause the video and resume the video once this is complete. My job is now in the succeeded state, as you can see. Now let's see if I see a Dynamo DB table called orders. As you can see, I do see a table. I'm going to click on explore table items. And if I refresh, let's see if we are able to see all the data over here. So it is fetching item. Uh, so let me refresh. I may, it should have been fast a little. So let me just refresh my screen. So just collapsing the sidebars and here you can see customer ID, order ID, customer name, email, order date, order name, order value. So now we were successfully able to perform uh, a join between two hoodie tables and then load the aggregates or matrix into a DynamoDB table where application microservices can read the data from DynamoDB tables. That's it for the video. I hope you have enjoyed these videos. The goal of these videos is, is to teach beginners some basic concept about Glue, how to join data, how to work with uh, you know multiple tables. Because I know that these are uh, these videos are very 
application oriented and this is something that you would work uh, as a data engineer in the company and these videos are not on plural site or on udemy or on linkedin uh, uh, so hence I, i'm trying my best to make uh, an application oriented videos uh, for you guys so hopefully you enjoyed and now you can take the code further you can download you can tweak it uh, you can you know uh, learn this right so hopefully try these labs out uh, because i feel like the best way to learn is to try things out during your free time so all the source code is given now uh, when you get a chance please make sure to try this out with that being said keep smiling keep programming if you have any questions please make sure to list your question in the comment section below and i'll try my best to answer them with that big said keep smiling keep programming and i'll see you in the next video